Hello, hello, humid heroes. <laughs> uh, Alva, I'm sorry to hear that you're you're cooking alive. That sounds awful. That sounds dreadful. Um, how's it going? Welcome. Happy Saturday. Oh, did my emotes get approved? Yay! Okay, all right, all right. Let's let's talk about these. There I am. Let's talk about these. So, Air, the one that you just did is Trash Bandit. It's like loosely cheat. Um, because a raccoon stealing trash is cheating in my mind. I don't know, is loose. Uh, then we have Rat and then we have Potion and those are self-explanatory. Um, until I come up with a better version of cheat, I just put the little trash bandit in there. He's really, it's really hard to tell. It didn't come out very clear. Maybe I need to change his mask color. He's wearing like a bandit mask on top of his raccoon stripes. Perhaps I should change the colors. Wow, those got approved really fucking fast. I put those in like yesterday. Raccoons are owed trash. That's right, it's their rightful domain. Oh, the potion bottle looks pretty decent, at least on dark mode. I don't know if you guys are on light mode. The little rat looks good too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm glad those got approved. Um, that's exciting. Um, we're here for more backbone, so feel free to spam the raccoon emote. That's great. Light mode, yeah. Who uses light mode, right? Uh, oh, welcome to Alpha, oh, Error, Sassy, yeah. and Commodore Tom. Commodore Tom, thank you for the resub. Happy 10 months. So close to a full year. How's it going? Thank you for that resub. Um, let's get some, some backbone sounds. There we go. Very nice. I had like 20 minutes of the previous VOD left. Um, what's, what would you have missed in the last 20 minutes? Uh, did we meet the fox yet? Talking to Renee. Okay, so essentially all that comes out of the conversation with Renee is that um, we're going to put our heads together, be a team, be a duo, and try to try to track down the truck that we always see leaving from the bar. Um, what was the bar called? Forget. Really digging this title screen art. Isn't it nice? It's just it's it's such a nice title screen. And the raccoon just looks so, like, rightfully sad. <laughs> the bite, yes, okay, the bite. So we're gonna track down the truck that stops at the bite. Um, so quick recap for anybody who wasn't here last time. Um, we are a raccoon detective. Um, we were hired. Oh, we're gonna, do th we're gonna do this conversation again. So what's the case? You know, I can't tell you, but this one could make a difference, I think. Woo-wee! Love that for you. Uh, time you stamped your name on the world. H-O-W-A-R-D. It's not about my name. And the name of your partner stamped just underneath it. T-O-L-Y. So that's Anatoly. Uh, our best, our best friend Anatoly. Uh, Ginko, welcome! So, quick recap. We are Howard the Raccoon Detective. We were hired by a lady named Odette to try to track down her husband. She thought he was being, um, adulterous. Um, he was not. He was on a new drug called Monkey Butt. This drug smells awful and kind of herby. Um, I'm assuming it smells like weed, but like mixed with cocaine or crack, maybe. Or burnt weed. I don't know. That's what I'm picturing. Um, so he was on Monkey Butt. Uh, Monkey Butt is being distributed by a club called The Bite. The Bite is led by Cassandra something. I forget her last name, but she's like a like a crime lord um she's also a polar bear um so she runs the bite is distributing the um drugs uh the otter guy got involved in it and ended up dead and being chopped to bits in the basement and boxed up like like boxed up for maybe consumption we're thinking um we found this very disturbing we puked in an alleyway we left and went to a park we had to think um, we got pushed around a bit, we talked to a homeless man, and then the lovely Renee found us, um, and she said, you know, I'm a reporter, I'm trying to put Cassandra, you know, I'm trying to, like, write this thing about Cassandra, if you can tell me what you know, I can, you know, help. Um, so we out everything, we say, here's what's going on. 
And she says, well, I see this fake delivery truck leaving the bite every so often. We should follow it um, into Gastown and see see what it's up to. So that's where we're at. Monkey Mutt smells like bananas. The dirty bananas. Welcome, Jilly. How's it going? Babylon, welcome. Hi, guys. Happy Saturday. Um, Anatoly is a taxi driver and our friend, uh, Bieber. And uh, he's helping us out, but he doesn't really know anything. Um, here we are. Welcome to Gas, Gas Town, Shepherd Almighty. What a swanky place. Be cool to live here, huh? Maybe if I sold a kidney. Well, you go on and bother, folks. I'm going to get some quality Anatoly chill time. When's your truck coming? Soon, I hope. I'll be, it'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine and the paper while you're at it. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. It's so hot and I'm so lazy. You're telling me. All right, Gas Town. So we have a new objective. Our objective is to buy a new pack of cigarettes, figure out where the boxes of flesh are ending up, and track down the fake Starling Cider truck. Um, should we start with cigarettes, maybe? That sounds like an easy task. Ooh, there's a bookstore. Can I go inside? Oh, that's the liquor shop. This is the liquor shop. That's not, that was not my intention. Hold on, wait. Bookshop, there we go. What kind of animal is this? Poochie? What kind of animal is Poochie? There's nothing in here. Poochie? Welcome to Poochie's Read. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. What a tagline. Lemur? Maybe? I can't see a tail. Maybe weasel? Something in like the rodent-ish family. Hey, Jens, welcome. Monkey? He might be a monkey. Nah, his ears aren't big enough for monkey, I don't think. I don't know. Uh, maybe it'll come across in our conversation. Let's see. Um, oh, you've got these things with pages and words. So this is a bookshop? <laughs> what are you in the market for? Got anything? Ooh, got anything by Renee Wilson. Hmm, name rings a bell. Oh, the young fox writer. I got her book he right here. Yes. Uh, what's the book called? An introduction to systematic state power dynamics. Not the catchiest. Uh, how was it received? To be honest, it wasn't. Quite an achievement to even get it published, and she did well not sounding hysterical. But you're about the first person to ask about it. She's young? Oh yes, a debut at 25 years old. Really quite unusual she managed to get it published. Enough about Renee. Uh, got something on apes? Ah, yes, our glorious leaders, the, whose treaties I am mandated to stock. Obviously, I have plentiful copies of the Ape Codex right here. I lost my copy um, to a uh, fire. Uh, yes, I've heard that they have a tendency to spontaneously combust. How unfortunate. Wow, nobody likes the apes. Literally nobody likes the apes. Um... Any of the apes write stuff individually? No, I suppose it's too risky for them to put forward opinions that aren't reached in quorum and triple certified. Um, forgive me, but I'll take a codex. Three loons, if you're sure. Oh, actually I'm broke. Are you trying to annoy me on purpose? If so, it's not working. What books do you recommend? I hate it when people ask that question. Uh, do your own research, develop your own taste. Well, damn, Jesus. All right, what have you been reading? Recently, Love is in the Air and Kill Me If You Can. Oh, and a fascinating little book about philosophy of lockpicking. Um, what's, I'll, I'll buy one of those. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting reading material for Anatoly is where I'm at, where, where I'm thinking. Here to be at least a, the bare minimum more specific. Um, mm, Catch me if you can sounds thrilling. Three loons, if if you're sure. Yep, I want it. There you go, treat it well. Let's move on from book talk. Uh, what can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide, but we do have the Gorham's Gallivant Around Gastan, or if you're interested. Uh, I'll pass on that one, thanks. Yeah, it's a bit tasteless. Puns very much intended. You been here long? I've been running this store for 12 years. Took over for my mama. Shepherd bless her memory. If not her, shell, if not her shelf organizing system. So you're just gonna keep selling books till you die? I certainly hope so. That's how I want to go. Just after reading the last page of a great novel. 
How's business been? People still reading? Enough to keep me in business, not enough to wake up and realize how low society has fallen, to say nothing of the standards of literature. Uh, you learn more from real life than from books. Ah, uh, yes. Spoken like someone who hasn't read enough books. <laughs> Bye for now. Okay, let's bring this to Anatoly. He wanted some reading material, so... Here you go, buddy. Uh, how's my man doing? What? I can't... I can't give him the book? Wait, hold up. How do I give him the book? Inventory, maybe? What, what else do I have in my inventory here? Key to the freight lift in the locker room. Full of newspapers. Newspaper and Odette's picture. How do I, like, use something? Huh, it doesn't. So I must just automatically give it? Oops. That's not how you get out of that menu. Huh. Weird. Okay. It's... <laughs> Not known as Iraq. Oh, because Babylon. <laughs> Very nice. Sean. We can talk to Sean. Who is this? Swanky dog. Swanky dog named Doc. Ooh, a deli. Don't mind if I do. Got a sandwich for me? Oh my god, yum. Uh, could this be the place? Oh, this is where the Sterling Cider. Okay, so this might be where. Doesn't look too fresh. This might be where we need to investigate the truck. Mm, yes. Let's have a conversation with Delta. Welcome. Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? Oh my god, that sounds great. Fuck yes, please. Um. You got any apple red apple sticks? Sure do. Uh, three loon for a pack of ten. I'll take them. Thanks. Here you go. That'll be three loon. Um. You got any Starling Cider? Yep, we got regular, red berry, and pear. Expecting a delivery today? Uh, I've got plenty of each in stock, why do you ask, hmm? Just curious, uh, do you sell anything special? Uh, what you see is what you get, it's all quality produce. I'm looking for something fresh and seasonal. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I did finally get a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onion. Dry onions? What is a dry onion? Nice bodega? Is that what is that what a little deli is called? Is a bodega? I don't know that I've ever heard that. I've heard the word bodega before. It's a bodega cat. <laughs> Opposite of a wet onion. Uh, uh <laughs> I've only ever seen dry onions for planting. If you plant a dry onion, does it grow wet onions then? Like normal onion? I'm so confused. Um I love vegetables. <laughs> then you come to the right place. Um, you said finally there's been a problem? Uh, it's been unseasonably cold. Slowed down the growth of a lot of the crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. Is it serious? We should be fine. It's just we're so reliant on the agriculture and the greenery. So fresh stuff is going to be more expensive for a while. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, well, he's not getting a shipment today. I did get my cigarettes, though, so that's that's a plus. Um, oh, Moho, what's up? Oh, boy. I don't think Mo likes me very much still, probably, so. Um. Okay, we got a new pack of cigarettes. I guess I wasn't actually supposed to get a book for Anatoly. It wasn't actually on my to-do list. Uh, the Davian Den Hotel, not for the likes of me. Swanky. What is going on here? Oh, they're playing with a ball. Okay. We got Ginger. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, taking, taking the load off, feeding the pigeons. What a good detective activity. Good, good, good. Reese? Oh, Renee. Oh, it's a phone booth. We got Harold and the clean queen. Everything glass, gas town has to be clean, of course. It's a laundromat. The atmosphere in this game is great. I agree. I'm really liking the soundtrack quite a bit. All right, let's talk. 
to Harold. Hmm, how did I, but where did, uh, hmm. You okay there, buddy? Oh, don't mind me, Sonny. Just wish I could remember. Remember what? If I dropped it here, what'd you lose? I dropped my ring, blasted slippery thing. Uh, sure you dropped it here? I think so, through this grate, I think. Uh, is it valuable? Oh shit, it's my wedding ring. Dude's fucked. Is your wife gonna be mad? Uh oh, I hope not. She passed a long time ago. Um, uh, he's gonna be haunted. He, she's coming back for him. Harold is a rapper? You think this old man is a rapper or like a Harold you know in real life is a rapper? <laughs> this old man is definitely not a rapper. Um, lost my ring slippery thing. Oh, he did rhyme. He totally did rhyme. Spitting, spitting those bars. <laughs> Um, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Well, Sonny, if you can help me get this manhole open. Um, I want to help, but you can't go down there. Oh, I may not be in my prime, but I need that ring back if I can get down this manhole. Um, it's too dangerous, my dude. Well, what if I forget about Irma? Uh, the ring was precious, but you'll always have your memories. Oh, when you get to my age, you learn that's not true. There are times now where I realize it's been days since I thought of her. Um, are you lonely? You have any family? No, just me for 17 years. I do miss having someone to share the afternoon with, feed the pigeons, do a crossword. You know, I'm all, I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm down to do, do a crossword and feed the pigeons, my dude. I already fed the pigeons, but I'll do it again. Oh, yeah. Blinded, welcome. Thank you for the resub. Happy 42 months. Thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate that. Love and chat for the resub. Spitting the hottest bars I've ever heard. Mixtape dropping 3032. He'll be dead by then. Damn. I mean, all of us will definitely be dead by 3032. Um, I don't like that my choices are like get fucked or get fucked and then I just leave a conversation. Gotta go, Harold. Sucks sorry, my dude. I guess. Grandfather Steam watching over Gastown as always. Keep it up, man. That is a cool looking clock. If a weird old man asks you to help him open a manhole, run. I'd do it. I'd open that manhole for him. Ginger, you want to help him open a manhole? <laughs> Good afternoon, young lad. No, that was, that's not that's not the voice for grandma, but it's what we got. Um. Don't mind me just passing through. I did I don't think she's a good source of information about a, a sketchy truck. Um, Lily, got a smoke? Here you go. Just one stingy old fart. Just one. How many mouths do you have? Uh, see the Starling cider truck around here? You mean the one that stops at Lewis's place? Sure, good old Lewis, right? Ah, the guy is a simpering foso, weakling. What the hell is a foso? Am I even saying that right? Hold up. Foso? Pasho. Pasho. Wow, I was way wrong. It's Pasho. Um, it's a UK informal disapproving of a person from a high societal class, especially one who is annoying. Oh, like posh, a posho. Hmm, interesting, okay. Like a posh person. Someone who is posh. Yeah, you're right, Jens. You got it, 100%. Mira loves opening manholes confirmed. Okay, so here's the funny thing about manholes. I took a quiz. I don't know if you could call it a quiz. I used an Instagram filter the other day for fun. Um. And it was a quiz about what kind of hole are you? And I got manhole. So 
Miro doesn't like opening manholes. Miro is a manhole. I don't know what the other options were, but that's, that's the one I got. It was a very weird filter. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do you know when the truck usually arrives? Uh, I guess I see it sometimes during recess. About recess. Did I just give a cigarette to an elementary school kid? About 1 p.m.? Ugh, are you some kind of truck spotter? Um... Okay, well, uh, thanks for the help. Stay in school. Just got the achievement enabler. Listen. I didn't know. This is the sketchiest truck I've ever seen. How can people think this is official? After them! They're getting away! Uh, all done, Grandpa. See you next week. Intriguing. Can't just barge in there. The owner is watching me. Why not? All right, do I need to distract this man? All right, Lewis, let's chat. Name's Lewis. What can I do for you this fine day? Uh, do you still sell? Let's talk about let's talk about what I can do for you. Jesus. There's so many approaches to conversations and none of them are how I would handle things. Fun fact, the fastest object humans have ever oh, the fastest object humans have ever launched was a manhole cover. We literally used a nuke. Why though? For what purpose? Cool raccoon uncle. Yeah, just dishing out the cigarettes. Cool raccoon uncle over here. Uh, I totally forgot to shout Ayo Gary to you at the start of the stream. I'll remember next time. Did we make a pact to talk about Gary? Is Miro's brain failing her again? Gary? Who's Gary? Causing a conundrum. Because we could to see how fast a manhole cover could go. I mean, I guess, I guess those are reasons. 125,000 miles per hour. Jesus. Those things are heavy too. God, that could kill a person. Where did it, where did it land? How did they stop it? How, how far did it go? Um, okay, I have so many questions. Uh, do you sell Starling sir, cider? We'll start there. Um, you got called, oh, yeah, I did get called Gary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's better than being called like MILF or something like that ages me further. I heard someone uh, tell a story about that the other day and I was like, well, I guess Gary could have been worse. <laughs> Also, I want everyone to look at my new mug. It's shaped like a cauldron, like a witch's cauldron. And I'm just, it's so big and full of tea. And Mira's gonna have to pee like eight times during the stream, so. You don't want to be a mom, so MILF wouldn't be good. Exactly, true. It's a cauldron mug, it is. I love it, I love it very many. I need to get that mug. Uh, it's at the at-home store if you have those in your country and or location. So, potty break mug. Yeah, it's at, it's at a store called At Home, which is like a home furnishings place. Like, pure one imports, kind of. Okay, uh, back to track this truck. Of course, my friend, but if you want uh, refreshing, perhaps I can recommend my very own light stout. I have apple, cherry, blueberry, infused vi varietals. Varietals, what a word. Um, but I love Star Starling Cider the most, and you just got a delivery. Ah, well, uh, but I have some in stock already. It's perfectly good. Um, if you let me buy it fresh from the crate, I'll make it worth your while. Uh, uh, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I, um, have to take inventory, and there's bookkeeping. Um, you might so fluster, Lewis. Something wrong there, buddy? Uh, sir, this is my shop. I I won't be haggard. Hang, hang, harangued? Her. This is a stream in which Miro 
pulls out multiple dictionaries. Was this team created by a... Harang. Harang. Uh, by a British dev team? Because... Man, I don't know any of these words. Milf. Mammal, I'd like to feed! Okay, I'll take that milf. I'll take that milf. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently there are no at-home stores near me, but one is opening up August 25th. Oh, nice! Um, they just started putting out their Halloween stuff. This was in, like, the Halloween section, because it's a cauldron. Um, and they just started putting it out. But I think you can also order it online if you want to? Maybe? You can buy stuff from their online store. I, I, I don't know about that mug specifically, but... Um... Lewis, I'm a private investigator. We need to talk. Well, there's nothing. Uh, but if it'll make you happy and leave me alone. Uh, where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I love to s only sell my own brews, but sadly, people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then... then um... Not having money problems, are you, Lewis? Ah, uh, it's a it's a little slow, but the parade will make up for it. All those parties, people get thirsty. Have you heard of a oh, Bloodworth? That's her last name, Clarissa Bloodworth. Uh, I've heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns that bar, the Bite. I think it's called. Uh, have you met her? Oh no, gosh, <laughs> she's she's the, not the kind of person you just run into. You got any buyers for those crates? Uh, I mean, I I haven't even unpacked them. I I told you, but uh, you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? Trying to pay me off with hooch? Good goodness, no. I'm just being hospitable. A drink to soothe things over. It always helps. What's in the crate, Lewis? <laughs> uh, you're, you talk or bad things will happen. I know about the flesh, Lewis. Now I need your help. Jesus. Should we just hit him with the flesh? Maybe the F word. The F word will do this boy in. I know about the flesh. Sir, please. I don't know what it is you want to hear, but this shop is my life. It's the only thing that matters to me. Um, the truth will set you free. It's time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, nicely put, but truths have a habit of trapping you, too. Um... I know how to hurt you talk, Jesus. Let's not be a bad cop. I know it's hard, but we'll be in this together. In, in what? Even if my position is unique, it's not fair. You have no idea. I'm on Team Lewis. Uh, someone has to stop Clarissa. Help me. Her? You'll just make things worse. I got your back. I got your back. I suppose if you... Found a way into the storage room after I dro dropped this key. I'll take a look. Don't go anywhere. Nice. Good man. Crate. Why am I talking to the crate? Uh, inspect it up close. There's a faded Starling Cider logo inside. The box is a simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. Lift the lid. Well, it doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no obvious way to open it. Um, think about the box hard mm. <laughs> this is a crate you've been looking for but uh part of you didn't want to find it now you've found it good job <laughs> spec the lid you run your fingers carefully along each edge of the lid at one point there's a tiny recess on the side lever it up With little effort the lid pops out of its uh, groove look inside beneath the lid there's a number of small packages individually individually wrapped in a thick silvery paper I can't do this, forget the whole thing. No, we've come too far. Sniff the package. Silvery paper has a chemical tang. The rest of your olfactory observation is filled up with the musty basement smells of damp uh, of damp and old cigar smoke. Okay. Uh, hold the puking, unwrap the package. Peel back a layer of silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Sniff the flesh. There's a malang of intoxicating scents, fat, sweet, uh, with notes of acidic tang. Inspect the flesh. The flesh is light pink with a striated texture. I can't do this, I've seen enough. Well, I tried. I tried to get as much detail about the flesh as possible, so. <laughs> mm, the flesh. 
Oh, Amazon has 20 cauldron mugs. Nice. One with stars on it. <laughs> oh, think about the box hard. <laughs> hey, friend, I'm Dorton Tuna. I give you fun facts. Oh. Every time you click on me, maybe? Eggs are nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Okay, weird. It is just giving fun facts. It's Oh, it's like the talking bass thing. Um, okay, Lewis, let's have a chat. You saw it? Illegal fish fillets? It's a dangerous black market. Does this sweet bean really think that these, these are fish? Is that legitimately what he believes? Uh... Don't you start trying to fuck with me. I surely you understand. No, let's not break a nose. Uh, when did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, then I could just pretend. I guess, I guess in a world where everyone is animals, they would all just be vegan? Right? Otherwise, you're like eating your neighbor's eggs or you're eating your neighbor. You, everyone would have to be vegan. Otherwise, that'd be weird. It, it would automatically be cannibalism. Um, tell me everything. No one will give you. No one else will give you this chance. But but if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall. You understand? If I tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. Um, how'd you end up with boxes full of flesh, Lewis? I didn't have any choice. Fate conspired against me. What does he do with them is more what I want to know. Maybe it's a hard choice, but you still had one. No, I did not. You'll never understand. Calm down, Lewis. Go on, do whatever you want. I don't care. My name's Howard, by the way. Well, Howard, I don't know about you, but I need a stiff drink. Sure, fill me up. Let's, ha let's have a drink together. Let's break some bread with this poor man. He could be our ticket. I hope we weren't, like, trying to be sober or anything. Cheers, buddy. For some reason, we lost our music, by the way, and I don't know. Hope he feels better. Ah, uh, some whiskey for courage. Shepard knows I need it from somewhere. What does Clarissa have on you? It's just, why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. The damn city's fault. Why is it, isn't her medicine free? Huh, okay. Her? Someone close to you? Mrs. Bloodworth th is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. Even, I even thought about selling the shop, but the loans wouldn't have lasted. Keeping her alive? How? Leah is ill, too ill to work, needs medication for life, and it's expensive. The doctors with Bloodworth, the meds are paid for, and I'm never late. What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Delivery? A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crates to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. The caller, who is she? Her name is Bajwa. Baj Bajwa. Okay. Uh, it's all I can tell you, sir. I, I can write down the address for you. It's my head if Bloodward hears of this. Your secret's safe with me, promise. Thank you for understanding and listening. Thanks, Lewis. I have to go now. Um. Okay, or apparently not. Go? What are you going to do? Um. I'm going to go find out more from this Bajwa character. You weren't forced into this like I was. Why get involved in such nasty business? I wager you won't like it where it leads you. We'll see. Just swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't bear to live in even more fear. Uh, I won't. I'm not, I'm not gonna out this poor man. Thank you. Shepard guides you. Sure, um... <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. We're on our own. Jesus. Sure he does like he guided you. It, uh, I think it's time you left, sir. Uh, one last question. Where is Baj when is Baja expecting the delivery? Well, Joy took a crate over a few days. She was expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Um, 
Give Joy the day off. I'll take the scars. I You can't. They'll suspect. And if word gets back to me, Leah... And if it gets back to me... Um... Trust me, I do this all the time. Give me the cigars. I, fine, I can't stop you. Uh, it, my life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Oh my god, this is a lot of pressure. I feel like I could actually get people killed. Good luck, Lewis. Oh, it started to rain. Wow, we were in there for a hot minute. It's dark and rainy. So sorry, Anatoly. Um, Grace get delivered to someone called Baja. Find out who she is. Oh. Oh, oh, like just get delivered around here? Wait, wait, wait. Furniture store? I need a new couch or any couch. Oh no, we don't even own a couch. That's so sad. Um, Baja. Probably nothing to do with the deli. I hope. I hope to God it's nothing to do with the deli. Uh, Bo might know. What's up, Bo? How are you, Bo? Who's Bo? I'm Mo. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is a whole different fat rabbit. There's multiple. There's multiple fat rabbits. Uh, okay. Uh, sure thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was a great conversation. Wow, there's multiple fat rabbits. I was not expecting that. Um, maybe the hotel? Nope, it's not letting me do anything with the hotel. Mrs. Tilly is here now. We can still have a conversation with Ginger. This man never get his ring out? Harold. Oh, nope. Okay. Multiple fat rabbits with impressive mustaches, right? Oh, we can set up Ginger with the old man. Yes. Oh, there's a guy I think you should meet. I'm sure your heart's in the right place, but you don't need to pity me. Uh, I don't. I'm just connecting li to like-minded strangers. Not that I'm interested, but what makes you think I'd enjoy talking to him? Um, He likes pigeons, probably. To this gentleman of who you speak. He's right over there. Should I introduce you to well, you can tell him that if he wants to, I'd be willing to share my bench with him for a while. He'll be happy to hear it. Oh my god, yes. I am fucking Cupid right now. Harold, get your ass over to that bench. Uh, I'd like you to meet a new friend. Oh, that's sweet of you, lad. But I don't think I'd... I think I'd just bore you. I can't tell stories like I used to. Uh, mm, not me. Someone wise and kind. Oh, well, yes, that would be the kind of person that might pop up with, put up with me. Um, that person is over there feeding pigeons. Oh, that well-dressed lady. I wouldn't want to interrupt her. Uh, I already squirted away with her. Go on. Oh, I don't know. I'm not used to meeting new people anymore. She's looking forward to meeting you. Come on. It, if you say so, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Okay, Harold, let's go. Tell her the raccoon sent you. Good luck. Oh my god, yes. Guys, it really is a dating sim. Look, I did it. Look. Oh, my work here is done. Yay. Oh, that's so cute. I'm obsessed. Uh, Mrs. Tilly, the audacity. You there, what's your name? Why, I have half a mind to call the police. Uh. I am Wallace Broder, concerned citizen. Well, Mr. Broder, if I ever see you around my children again, I'll report you. Oh, shit, this is the mom of the kids we gave cigarettes to. Oopsie. Uh. Uh. If I ever see you around my children again, I'll report you for misconduct towards minors. They ask, but I should have refused. I apologize. Yes, well, it's unacceptable, but you seem contrite at least. Uh, look, listen, I didn't know they were children, okay? I thought they were maybe adult animals that just happened to smoke. Uh, The cigarettes were a necessary evil for my case. 
I don't want to say that, but I also don't want to say it's you that I feel most sorry for. That's rough. Don't try to change, change the subject. Who are you exactly? I guess I should just come clean. I don't know. I'm adding matchmaking to the Miro game trope list. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I am a matchmaking god. Uh, I'm a private detective. Uh, you have identification, I presume. Of course. Herod Loter, you cladestine fiend. What is the meaning of this? I'll... Oops, me out. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, apparently I wasn't supposed to tell her. I don't know what the hell she wanted from me. Um... Okay, I have a bad feeling that the place we actually need to be is indeed in the deli. And I'm not happy about it. That's Delta, though. That's not anybody named. What's her face? Oh, thank God. Thank God. He's not going to talk to us anymore. I feel like I missed a piece of information somehow. Wasn't I just supposed to get an address and go? Hold up. Oh, wait. No, that's just me looking at the bookshop. I can't talk to him anymore. I can talk to the tuna. Good, good, good. Wood Palace doesn't let me in. Anatoly doesn't want to talk to me. Hotel doesn't open up for me. Oh, maybe we have to call Renee. Got a new lead. Oh, man, our swanky music is back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Apparently. Jesus, apparently the scroll bar for volume on my keyboard selects dialogue options automatically. Jesus Christ, okay. That was not great. Um, who's speaking, please? I got a new lead. Ah, I'm list. A lady named Bourgeois is the buyer. Any idea who she is? Not yet. She puts in a call at the shop and the boxes get delivered from there. Did you learn where? 350 West Georgia Street. Ring a bell? The address is in tops. Interesting. Feel like heading over for a house call? Heck yeah, I love peeping in people's windows. Hmm, might not be the best idea to just barge in and confront her. I'll figure something out. Uh, you do seem to have a habit of winging it, but hey, whatever works. Wish me luck. Good luck. Uh, you're doing great. Call me after and head straight home, okay? Sure, bye. That was a heck of a fast conversation on accident. Uh, let's drive, totally. Tops, let's go. Let's go to Tops. What's new, Chief? Did you crack the case yet? Oh my god, I live for these drives. No, got a big lead, though. Ha! Lead on, partner. Sounds like this is a bigger deal than usual. You're, uh, being careful, right? Relax, I'm not about to deprive you of your best customer. <laughs> best friend? Sure. Uh, but if you're my best customer, how come you don't tip? Because best friends don't need to tip, Anatoly. It'd be impolite. Light! Ah, I didn't realize you were a part of high society, Howie. You fixin' to become a, a something. Just watch the road, huh? I missed that last word. It went too fast. Ooh, swanky. Hello, Finn. Okay, before we chat with Finn, um, like we predicted, Mira has to potty. So, uh, listen to this nice elevator music. And we'll be right back. Maybe the music isn't coming through for you guys. How odd, you're not getting any sound whatsoever, are you? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll do different sound then. Sound that actually functions. That's weird. I wonder what's wrong. Okay, we'll be back.
Okie dokie, we're back. Let's see if we can't sort out some of the sound issues though. This is very bizarre. Not game music, maybe. Yeah, the game music isn't coming across for some reason. I'm not sure if it's the game or... The game just seems like very low, even on my end. I don't think there's much we could do to boost it. Let me try relaunching it because... Um... Come back to the screen. Um... Maybe if we go into audio? That work? Not really. That awful noise is there. So there's that. Let's try relaunching it. Let's see. Let's see if we can't get this working properly. I want you guys to have that sweet, sultry jazz. See, there, that has music. I think it must have broken at some point. Oh, it has too much music. There we go. That's better. Now we got some tunes. Let's make sure you guys don't go deaf, though. That was so weird. It must have, it must have broken at some point. It did go eerily silent while we were talking to the, the liquor shop, so. Just sing! Oh yeah, because that's definitely my forte, for, forte and what everyone wants to hear. 100%, yeah. No. Fixing to become a minister was the word we missed. Good deal, we got to do this over again anyway. A minister. Okay, you guys still just can't hear the music in here. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Speaking of music, I should link you some Huggy Beats music. He makes the best royalty-free lo-fi tunes. Sure, yeah, go for it. Throw it in Discord. Welcome to the Blue Falls building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors who have been pre-invited. I have a delivery for Miss Bajwa? Ah, yes, there's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144, 11th floor. Uh, cool, see you. I don't think we need to chat with him about anything. Nikki! Hi, Nikki! <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Nikki's rude. Ah, what do I look like to you? Uh, I'm sorry, what? You heard me, fool. Uh, big bad wolf. Damn straight, and I worked for it. I'm sure you did. Uh, doing what? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, I did ask. You don't live here? Nope, I'm a delivery boy. Delivering anything I'd like? Oh, like, are we delivering something he'd enjoy? Uh, I don't know. What do you like? Show me what you've got, and I'll know when I see it. Uh, it's against regulations. I'll gut you like a fish and ruin your fancy suit. Haha, -ha, you've got moxie, fool. I like someone who can make me laugh. You're hired. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? What, what? Come on, baby. I'm just playing. The look on your face, though. Uh, stop jerking my tail. Oh, yeah. I can't take a joke because you're so special. Uh, no, I wish I was. <laughs> yes. If you ask nicely, I can get you on the wolf hot hotness level, fool. The wolf hotness level? I'm sure you can. Now we're talking my language. Ever heard of a wolf job? I don't... I don't think I want to know. No, I'd prefer not to. No. Leave. 
But remember me, baby. I don't think I have a choice. What the fuck, Nikki? That was a hell of a conversation. We got plants. We got plants. Concierge said 11th floor, the residence of evil. Evil. I beg your pardon. He, he was like super offended. That I <laughs> didn't. I just, I don't know what to make of Nikki. That whole conversation was a weird one. Uh, floor 20 committee meeting this Friday. Floor 20. Uh, they said it was 11.44, yeah? Looks like a fire escape. Okay, we got a fire escape. And only two apartments on the floor? Let's knock. Miss Bajwa is a... Is a maid? Uh, yes? Uh, Miss Bajwa, I've got a delivery for you. Ah, the cigars! Right here, can you confirm the recipient's name? Ah, I might, uh, not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient, Eloise Bajwa. Uh, just following procedure, you understand. Oh, fine. What about payment? Uh, I have an arrangement with Lewis that's been taken care of. Oh, of course. My apologies. Uh, it's no trouble. Oh, will you ask Lewis for another special case in a couple of weeks? Um, I'll pass on the message. Will it be anything else? That is all, but take this for your trouble. Uh, you don't want me to specify the next delivery? Lewis will know. I can't fuck this up. But I don't want to push her too hard or he'll be in trouble. What am I supposed to do here? Bajwa is just the maid. Find out who the apartment really belongs to. Pissing her off isn't going to help me get in there. I have to find another way. Well, to the fire escape it is. Up we go. Can't reach it. Damn, my short arms. I'm gonna- I'm coming for this umbrella. Hell yeah. Now I won't get rained on. Or I can float down like Mary Poppins. It looks cozy inside! Okay, I'm being creepy. Okay, hold on. Oh, use umbrella. Oh, I see use the hook. Ah, smart. Aha! Very good. Guess I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. Oh my god, they called out small raccoon pockets. Screw you, Umbrella. Okay. There we go. I want to live in this building. This does look like a very nice, swanky building. I, however, would never want to go back to living in an apartment. Uh, city looks so strange from up here. I bet it's easy to forget real people are struggling down below. Damn, way to get dark. We've got a goose? Pet the geezer! I'll pet the geezer. Oh, who's a good boy? You're a good boy! Pet that goose. Wait, that's a non... That's a non-anthropomorphic animal. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. You, in anthropomorphic things, you either have to go, like, all in or not at all. Also, I think, Sassy, it was you who pointed out that we fed the pigeons earlier, which, yes. Maybe only birds aren't people? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Welcome to the trouble of making anthropomorphic animal games, right? It's like the, the Pluto and Goofy issue like they're both dogs but one's sentient and the other one isn't um should be right outside the back of the maid's apartment who really lives here inspect the window uh the latch is closed oh wait it's actually open the tiniest bit if i had something thin enough to slide through and lift shit i don't have anything um uh, looks like there's some renovations going on maybe i can find a tool of some kind putty knife Dunzo. Oh. Uh. Busted. We are, we are so busted. 
Uh, this is Circe. Hey, stranger. Uh, hey. <laughs> Don't care why you're here. Saw you, you climbing. Nice moves. Um... Don't, don't mind me, just getting some fresh air. Ah, oh, me too. You have a nice butt. Oh my god. She's coming on strong. Uh, thanks. My pleasure. Um. You know your neighbors well? Nah, we don't particularly vibe. Why? Don't know, I'm minding my own business. Is that catnip you're smoking? Yep, want some. Uh, well... Would love to, but I'm busy. Ah, oh, sure. Bye, baby doll. Bye, gorgeous. <laughs> I can't believe I just got hit on by an old lady. Uh, but the putty knife will fit. Uh, just about. Easy now. Lift the latch and boom. Now I can lever it open enough to climb through. There's no one inside. Fuck, Howard, you're at it again. This ranks the second craziest thing I've ever done. Just this week alone. We're getting ballsy. We're getting real ballsy. Just one acting like a human, the other one acting like a dog. They're both sentient? Hmm. Oh, it was Julie who mentioned it. Okay, thanks, Julie. Yes, we fed the pigeons, which makes me also uncomfortable. Um, I'm in way over my head. I need to figure out who lives here and run. Jessica's uh, upsettingly tasteful. Expensive looking knowledge. Not this guy. Oh, this isn't the guy that lives here. Some of these books secretly open up a hidden room. Wouldn't that be nice? <gasps> Where did these monkey children just come from? These monkey children just popped in here. Uh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Um, that's right. I'm new. Part of the hired help. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Oh no, if it's the apes. Oh, we're so, we're so fucked. It's an ape family that's eating people. We're in trouble. Nope, uh, meant to be here. That's strange. Why have I never seen you before? Uh, I'm a new hire. Just started today. You look funny. I am funny. What are you doing? I'm an admin assistant. Daddy says administration is the key to governs. Always leave a paper trail, he says. Uh, what does daddy do? My father's in research and development secretary, and he is the secretary of research and development. Does he live here? No, we live in our own house, dummy. Do you know whose house this is? I don't know. Daddy calls him Big Boss. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's a gorilla. Does Big Boss have a name? When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. What do you do instead? Theo here just likes to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. Um. You got a better idea? I'm going to be just like the big boss and have the biggest cigars. Hey, kids, can I ask you a favor? Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. That's solid advice. Uh, I will owe you both one great big fat favor. That depends. What do you want? Um, the boss will be angry I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yeah, because you're being lazy instead of working. Um, yes, so it's our little secret. Hmm. But it could be more fun uh, to watch you get shouted at. I can do that, you know. Shout! Um, what do they think they'll say to you afterwards? Nothing. I'm daddy's favorite. Oh, boy. Hey, Julie, welcome. How's it going? <laughs> it's I require notifications. They've been really bad about it lately. Even I haven't been getting mine, so... Um... Oh, I just noticed we're talking to two different people, Theodosia and Jebediah. What about you, boy? Uh, I do hate it when daddy shouts. 
What are you doing in here anyway? We snuck in here. What are your parents doing? They're eating dinner. We had ice cream already, so we're not hungry. I won't snitch if you won't. Fine, you got yourself a deal, deal mister. Theo, take a pick, peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't wanna. I can do it. Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. Sure. Yep, totally counts. Oh no, it's a lion. There, there's a monkey. There's an ape, a baboon, and a lioness. Some monkeys and some lions then? There it is. There it is. The big boss. The gorilla boy. Oh, Lord. The picture of a giant gorilla smoking, like, the biggest, fattest cigar, though. It's all clear. Can we go? Um... I don't know what I should be asking them. Did you see anything strange while sneaking through the dining room? We were in sneaking mode, couldn't look much. Did you see what they had on the table? We didn't see, but it did smell kind of funny. Um, You know, I'm sure it was just a new kind of herb. New, no, I want to try. Um, I'm sure they'll let you try some if you're good. Delicious, I'm excited. Also, some things can only be appreciated by grown-ups. I'm just... I'm pitching all the children into fucking chaos. I think I just told these children to do monkey butt. I'm like way worse than your drunk, influential aunt. Lord. That was an orangutan, not a baboon. Uh oh. Sorry, I don't know my I don't know my monkeys. Um, uh, my apes? Um, that's true. Most people can't appreciate the best things. Exactly. I better get back to work. Thanks, mister. Come on, Theo. Oh boy, um... Let's sniff the desk, sure. What has perhaps been rubbed with a scented oil? Uh, redolent of citrus and smoke. It smells like power and success. <laughs> Feel the desk. Feels like a desk, but you wish you could run your hands over its silky grain every day. Look at the pile of papers. Quick glance at the stack of various documents, letters, and notes, all with annoyingly small print. Grab the papers. Right, the name of the owner of this study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through, though. Uh, search the desk. A few closed drawers, an empty mug, a chunky book, and nothing much else. Open the drawers. They're locked. Whoever owns this desk isn't taking chances. Search for hidden compartments. You've never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping. You find nothing. Uh, give up and on finding a cool secret compartment. Wah wah. Take the mug. Plain mug with father of the year written in big red lines. Uh, inspect the book. Copy of The Nature Within Us by jo Jordan Rayand. Read the back of the book blurb. In the seminal advocacy of pure reason, individualism, and power, Rayand treads, treads new ground towards a truly utopian society. I get the feeling I know what kind of book this is. Uh, it's one of those hateful books masquerading as an egalitarian philosophy that fascists love. Jesus. Uh, stop searching the desk. Risky to search more thoroughly. Someone might come in at any moment. Leave the desk alone. Let's get out of here. We know it's an ape. I think that's enough for right now. All right, we're back. We're back with our Foxy Renee. Are you ready to start? Let's do it. Oh boy. So, you barged into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. Mmm, correct. What were you thinking? Couldn't find anything else, sorry. Let's see what we got. Could you read them out loud? Uh, it's, I think best with my eyes closed. Alright, where do I start? Start small, something that looks personal, maybe handwritten? Okay, here's one. Handwritten note, scrap of yellow paper. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me, burn after reading. Let's analyze this. Something specific caught your eye? Uh, Chief Tanner. Yeah, who's that guy? Sounds like my old schoolmaster. 
Um, we have a name. Can you look it up somewhere? I could try, but maybe I don't have to. What exactly does the chief do? Head of biochemistry report directly to me. Um, to get that order, you need serious authority. You're right, maybe the highest. Head of biochemistry. Um, hmm, well equipped lab. They're probably making the monkey butt. Oh my god, what if monkey butt is actually people? What if they're making the drug out of people and not eating them at all? This is some fucking Zootopia shit. Um, you can only find those in Science City. Okay. Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry who probably works in Science City. Who's the buyer then? The science minister. I don't know. Head of Science City. Nah, that's Chief Tanner. Above him is only one guy. You stole these papers from the science minister. Good job, Howard. Uh, do I have to return them? No, they're ours. They're yours now. So the science minister is buying flesh from Clarissa. What is he gaining from this? Let's see if we can figure that out next. Uh, we've got a handwritten memo. Oh, no, wait. That was the one we already read. Uh, RSVP. Envelope containing a single sheet of high quality paper with neat writing and a signature. Dear friend, I will, of course, attend the monthly celebration. I cannot wait to see what delicacy you prepared for us this time. TN. Right, let's analyze this. Um, delicacy you've prepared. What's he talking about? Flesh. Howard, they're eating people. Um, dear friend. Who is TN? His friend, duh. Thank you, Howard. Our monthly celebration. Um, some sort of ancient cult tradition. Yes. Yes, yes. I mean, it's obviously not a birthday or that they're getting richer and powerful, so I'm gonna go with, with cult. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Guys, we found the cult. Done reading this document. R&D report. An officially looking, official looking report on Science City branded paper. Uh, research project number 76 slash 5B introductory report. Minister protein analysis of the new sample is underway. The sample uh, possesses hereunto uncatalogued genes whose function will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I've said before. Please have patience. Renee? Sounds suspicious, uh, but then most science kind of does. Let's see if we can crack the meaning behind all this. Look closely at it. Um, and catalog genes sounds important, right? Are they developing new technology? I mean, sure, but how can you find new genes? Protein, protein analysis. Um, biochemistry stuff? I'm impressed. Yes, proteins and RNA are ge genetic terms, and our minister was hired a biochemist, remember? Can't be rushed, as I've said before. Mm. Science is hard. <laughs> it's true. Uh, what jumps out at me is that the minister is feeling impatient. Um, okay, so we looked at all these other documents. Briefing log. Leather dossier with a Golden City emblem engraving. There are a few pages inside. Mighty honorable ministers, I want to surmise my official recommendations on the new street drug circulated name Monkey Butt. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it possesses significant additive qualities. There is no widespread risk of public health, so criminalization is not warranted. I'll continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes the detailed toxicology breakdown. Um, okay, let's analyze this. Um... My honorable ministers. <laughs> How posh. <laughs> uh, do you think the president was present? He doesn't really call the shots. If the ministers ratify the report, monkey butt is basically legal. No widespread risk to public health. Uh, he's bluffing. Not exactly. Remember, 
that he could access a, a laboratory. The test results could be fabricated. All right, criminalization is not warranted. This protects Clarissa's customers. Not as much as it protects Clarissa and the bite. Oops. Uh, police note. Blank p page of paper with a small typed note. No other details or clues. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of disappearances from the West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye into. If this becomes a scandal, uh, it'll, it's both of our asses fix it. Heard about the disappearance. I fucking knew there was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. Let's analyze this. I don't know why you want them left alone. Um, why does the science minister even care? They're all being turned into flesh? Potentially, but it's a stretch. It's clear proof the science minister is covering something up, though. Fix it. Science Minister has a way to stop the police from investigating. Police guy is scared of the Science Minister. Doesn't sound like it to me. Wow, I'm getting all these wrong. It's more of a warning of the Science Minister to do something with the disappearances. Okay. Um, the Minister or someone close to them as the link. That's the clue we're supposed to get from there letter to daddy illustrated letter with colored pencil oh daddy i love you very much please give me money for my birthday i want to buy a lizard bye <laughs> i want to buy a lizard what does that tell you why wouldn't the kid just ask for a lizard business mentality that's true um kid loves his dad Powerful detection detective. I know, I know. I'm just a professional. Um, okay, I think we're done, I guess. Uh, so what exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the mentor? The minister? Um, she must have dirt on him? She clearly has leverage. Let's start with the minister. What is he getting from all this? Flesh. Judging from what you saw, the dinner RSVP, these ministers uh, and maybe the apes at large are considering lower class people a delicacy. Gross. Disappointed but not surprised. Fuckers. And Clarissa's enabling this. What is she getting from it? Um, we don't know yet. Immunity, maybe? Uh, ape ministers are a girl's best friend. If the science ministers help to protect her from the police or any other meddling in her business. Um... Then Bloodworth can safely make people disappear. Yes. Uh, she has almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. It's the missing people that bother me the most. Should we look into the West End thing? Yeah, I'll give you the reports, names, addresses. We have to see if the people are connected to the minister Bloodworth somehow. We investigate West End tomorrow. Right, there's no time to lose. All right, we have to act now. There's a uh, must be something else we're missing. An even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Um, something to do with science technology that would explain why the science minister she's interested in. He was researching something. Uh, what was it again? Uh, RNA. Science is hard. No, RNA was tracking the method. Oh, studying protein function. Science is hard. My bad. Proteins. Uh, they found some new genes in a secret lab in Science City. Hmm. Aliens. It's definitely aliens. <laughs> uh, secret re research only the minister and one scientist know about. I agree. It's crazy suspicious. Could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purposes? Um... Could be that the missing girls are all making drugs in that lab. That would be neat and tidy, but I think there's still too much we don't know. We have to look hard into it. We must look into it. Getting into Science City will be hard. <laughs> Emma Brocode, welcome. Hello, hello. How's it going? 
Russian bots? That's what you think's going on here? Oh man, that's a conspiracy theory if I ever heard one. <laughs> so Claire says doing dirty work for the minister so that the minister will keep monkey butt legal. And she's also feeding them people. Yes, like she gets protection from them in order to feed them people. Um, I guess we could try we'll get into Science City. Uh, but first, West End. We're uncovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. I'm tired. Yeah, we're really doing it. Uh, oh, great. Our takeout arrived. Nice. I'll get it. Fuck yeah, takeout. It's the goose that I petted. Delivery goose. Thanks, geezer. Uh, I don't understand. What? Honk, honk. Ah, here's your loon, buddy. Honk. Play free. <laughs> he honked at me. Uh, drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. Maybe next time. I'm so tired. Thought you'd never ask. Mm, eh, it's a dating sim. Thought you'd never ask. Tonight's poison is gin. You a gin man? Uh, pour me a tall one. Let's get trashed with the fox. Also, gin sounds gross. Uh, here's this all being over soon. Are you saying you don't enjoy putting your life on the line for the greater good? Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have, I should have just cheered to her. I fucked it up. All right, all right. Got to put my dating simulator hat on. Um, still can't wrap my head around it. I know. I feel like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. Um, I couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Howard. I feel like all my past work, my whole life, has been leading up to this moment. Yeah, it feels like it was meant to be. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't believe in fate, but some kind of cosmic poetry brought us together on this case. I know why it chose you, but why me? You're a witness to how fucked up things are, and you... ache for other people? What does that mean? Like, I'm super sympathetic? Sometimes I wish I didn't. Uh, how have you been sleeping since, uh... Not been getting much. I have a reoccurring nightmare. I'm listening. I'm running through this black, thick mud, and then it swallows me whole. Uh, sounds prophetic. Nah, it's just a manifestation of my repressed traumas. You? Um... Falling from a multi-story building, it's on fire. Mm. Uh, then I die. That's the dream. Good one. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Are you close with your mom? Where does this come from? Uh, why are you asking this all of a sudden? I believe we became... I believe we became who we are in childhood, and I'd like to get to know you. Um, we're close enough. What does that mean? Uh... She's not someone I respect. I'm here to listen. I love her because she's my mom, but I'm also angry. No one is owed no one is owed anything from you, especially love. Parents can be assholes too. What's her deal? Um She's been spiraling for years. She's had a hard life. She's complacent. She's got no perspective. This is getting deep, guys. Just think how Boggs got you, then ask those questions. None of these, none, none of this is any sort of conversation we've had. This went, Renee got dark fast. It's like, let's talk about all your childhood traumas. It's like, damn, all right. Um, I'm starting to get the feeling maybe I shouldn't trust her. Maybe she's going to put me into her book. Yard work is hard work. That's true. Giant barn is cool, though. Uh, getting tired from doing yard work and getting ready to rebuild my parents' giant barn. Oh, how do you? How does one go about rebuilding a barn? Where do you start? At the top or the bottom? Um, she's complacent. Sure. Mm. She doesn't really expect me to look. I don't know anything about my about my mom. I don't know. 
Um, she believes anything they say on TV or anywhere. Damn, try talking to her. Uh, yeah, dead end. She just doubles down. My mom doesn't care what I want. Uh, I'm just something from her to project onto, to project her needs onto. Wow, I'm not doing great reading today. Um, how do you cope? By not talking to her? Well, all right. Uh, that's extreme. If someone brings negativity into your life, you cut it out. Best decision I've ever made. I don't think I could do that. Uh, do you ever feel like no one truly knows you? Wow. Drinking with Renee is like work. Can't we just get like smashed and dance or something? Go to a club? Too tired for metaphysics, Renee, for fuck's sakes. Um, you know me, kind of. And I could only know you filtered through my own perception. It's not really you, just a projection in my head. I'm already exhausted. This lady. I'm glad I'm in your head, Renee. Hey, <laughs> me too. Get comfortable. It's a nice place to be in. Um, you're also in my head, Renee. There we go. There we go. Um, I guess, are you happy? I don't know. Soul search and one on one with Renee. Whatever happened to getting drunk and having a one night stand, right? Like, for real. She's got to be over here getting deep. Um, I think you make the story here and have, instead of having a story, you make the choices and you pick the, pick what becomes real. I guess, yeah. I could also just have shut her down, though, and been like, I don't want to talk about it. And just completely stopped the conversation altogether, so. Um, are you happy? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm going in the right direction. Good, let's keep it that way. Heart, I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? Close your eyes. Well, that didn't end in, in foxy banging. Hello? There was a bang. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but it sounded like someone was wandering around. Oh, I'm going to tuck her in. Sweet dreams, Renee. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, let's look at her board. Yes. Fat goose noodles. Ah, yes. I mean, maybe it would be good to have steak out food. Howard, focus. No extraneous noodles on, on, until this case is solved. She still hasn't called them yet. Uh, always staying on track, Renee. Um, that's for her book. Where are you hiding, you bastard? That's the monkey. What are you playing at, Bloodworth? I don't like this. And I don't like you. Um, article makes no mention of where they found him. Makes you wonder. Bloodworth Patriot found dead. Oh, maybe her father dying was some sort of conspiracy. Um, Bloodworth was doing it right under our noses all this time. Still makes me sick to think about it. That Lewis is a wreck, but I can't help him, but help but feel sorry for him. Guess he has an effect on people. Hope he's okay at least. Uh, oh, I think I can add that. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that didn't work. I have the hardest time copy pasta -ing. Is it quote ad? Yeah, there we go. Thank you for the quote, sassy. Um, okay, let's get out of that. Oh, I guess I'm going to sleep. That's not what I meant to do. Should have read that before I clicked on it. Guess we're going to sleep in the armchair next next to her. Uh, how are you? Okay, you're brooding more than Essie. Lots on my mind. How about you share instead, huh? It might do. I... Case keeps getting bigger. Maybe I'm out of my depth. And then there's Renee, who... Ooh wee, that lady, ha. Huh? No wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together. I respect her. Good working together and mutual respect. Not bad ingredients if you're looking to cup up, cook up something. A little something something is all I'm saying. Hey, and it totally knows. And it totally knows what's up. Okay, hold on. Real quick, let me cheat. Um...
Anatoly is in! He's so in. I want to see... Um... Is this just the... Right, Granville. Interesting. Let's try this one. All the guides are just for like the first act thing. Um, I just want to see how long this game is, but I'm not getting like a good guide. We have mobiles, apparently. We've been using pay phones up until this point, but. Uh, mm. Um, yeah, the guides are all for the demo. You are correct, yes. I'm having a hard time finding one that isn't, though. There's an achievement guide, but that doesn't really help me. Anybody know what act we are in? I think we're in act two, right? Trout talker. Yeah, we're in act two. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Um, I'm seeing roughly about five hours for the game, but probably a bit longer for the stream. Average 4.5 hours ish. Really? It's only supposed to be that short? That's interesting, because the whole prologue took us two hours, so that's not, that's not what it should be. Um, yeah, let's, I guess we're going to have to do a video walkthrough, so let's do, let's find out where we are here. We might actually already be in Act 3. No, we're in Act 2. I lied. Uh, da -da -da -da. We did all that. We did some of that. So we're about here ish. Yeah? We're at West End. Yeah, so we're right there. So we've got maybe, if I can do math right, 40 ish minutes left. Okay, so we could probably finish Act 3 today then. Cool, that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know, like, if we could get to a good stopping point. All right, let's finish West End then. Uh, that you, Street Hawk? Uh, since when do I have a code name? Starting now, Street Hawk. Anyway, how's it been going over there? Uh, so far, nothing and my feet hurt. You already spoke to Mary, Miranda, and Shelly? I tried everything, but they had a total mistrust of strangers. Damn, we'll stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Billy will talk? Worth a shot, I got a good feeling. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. Oh, the building has an elevator. Uh, we should get you some insoles. Maybe you have high arches. Anyway, think positive you got this. Uh, and if I don't got this, well, then we'll figure something else out. Good luck, and remember to knock gently and let me know how it goes. Thanks, Renee. Talk soon. Why doesn't she get a code name? All right, what do we got? We've got Dr. Aleve, Weston Doctors, Jacks of All Trades, Masters of None. Oh, boy, that's sketchy. Okay, so this is kind of like a... Like a slum area, I take it? So we've got the superintendent of this building. Oh, I guess we're talking to him. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm supposed to like just out myself as a private investigator. Whatever, let's do it. We're a detective. It's iconic. Don't judge me being dressed in my trench coat. Um... I don't trust you. I'm a raccoon? No, because you're an outsider. You're not exactly dressed like a local either. I know what works on me, and I work, damn it. Um, your socks say otherwise. Hey, leave my socks out of this. I'm going inside now. 
Uh, you wanna go in? Tell me who you're visiting. Beverly Fam, okay? Uh, you don't give that poor woman any trouble, you hear? She's had enough of it for five lifetimes already. I'll be watching. I actually like your socks, sorry. Ah, thanks. I guess your trench coat has a certain shabby chic to it, too. Thanks, peace. Oh, look, we made friends. We finally made friends! We did it. All right, let's try. Elevator. Nice, it does actually have an elevator. Oh, in a dank, dark corner. We finally did it! We made a friend! Uh, five, I guess? I don't know what floor we're supposed to be going to here. Got some books. Communal library. Oh, that's cute. Uh, maybe I should set one up for a similar thing in my building. Do it. Got a bike. Let's knock. I think I hear someone in there. Hmm. Okay, so they aren't coming out. Ah, oh, third time's a charm. What's up, Beverly? Um, can I help you? Uh, Beverly Pham, you're Leslie's mother? What has this got to do with Leslie? I'm not going to sign anything. Um, should we be a concerned neighbor or a fucking private detective? Oh, I feel like she's not going to care for a cop. I'll be a concerned neighbor. I ain't never seen you around here. What are you so concerned about? Um... Same as you, what happened to Leslie? I'm just trying to move on. Please, whatever you've got going on, I can't deal with it on top of my own shit. Um, I feel you, my sister went missing too. Oh, good shepherd, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you lived in West End long then? Uh, my sister did, I moved to the dock years back. Hmm. What was her name? Did she know my girl? Um, Lorena, Lorna? Lorna? I'm just trying to f uh, find any possible connections. Darling, I understand. I wanted to do more too, but uh, what with work and Henry, now it really isn't a good time. Um, times are hard, I get that. Thank you. I've been so alone in this. I'm gonna go with this one. Lorena was carefree. Then it was just like a cloud fell over her. Oh, that's what happened to Leslie. Fell in with a bad crowd. She was a good girl. Uh, what kind of bad crowd? Rose and those other party girls. Sorry, this is all st is stirring it all up. I understand. Did she, how, how did she know Rose? I, I, oh, hi. Uh, Henry, get back inside this instant. I don't see a kid. Do you see a kid? Um, hi there, Henry. Uh, is he looking for Leslie? Maybe my nose. My? This instant, Henry. Um, sorry to keep you, but who's my? I, I can't talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Hmm. She obviously doesn't want me to talk to Henry. Another time I don't want to make you late, maybe? I'm sorry, but no, I think it's best we just leave it here. Beverly, I didn't mean to upset you. I appreciate your concern, but that's really enough. I'd prefer not to see you again. Was it something I said? Good luck with everything. I've got a good day. I said good day, sir. All right, well, we got a couple of names. Uh, find out connection between the missing girls of West End. Speak to Bill Corby about his daughter, Diana. All right. He must be on the eighth floor then. I don't think we got as much information as we could have out of that, but. We got Luxie and Bane. Luxie and Bane. Doorless door. Oh, good. Fantastic. Wow, this place just keeps getting shabbier. Guess my li lead doesn't live here anymore. Good for you, Bill. Nobody's home. All right, so let's talk to Bean. Ka! <laughs> Bean just caught at me. Ka? You understand. This is good. I am Crow. 
Is this man on the drugs? Bean, what the hell? Good for you, kid. All right, Luxie. Beat it, granddad. All right, never mind. This is not gonna be a pleasant conversation. Did you know any of the missing girls from around here? No, we don't fuck with that crowd. How come? We're the Dead Mice Collective, bitch. That sounds like a fun club. Oh, I should make a sound bitty for I said good day. I love that one. I wonder if I can actually find a sound clip of that. That would be too good. Hold on, I'm gonna make a note to do that. That's gonna be good. Okay, cool. Um, we're not a club. We're a self-governing acro countercultural movement. Okay, well, yeah, you, you do that. Good luck. Thanks, granddad. Uh, you live on this floor? Nah. Why? Breaking down. Got a reputation. Makes it a cool hangout spot. Like a clubhouse? Not a club. Get done. <laughs> All right. Well, we offended her by calling her calling it a club, I guess. Um. So Bill Corby doesn't live there anymore. We got to find a way to speak to the little kid. Oh, Jesus. Beverly. Oh, oh no. Um, it's OK. I won't make trouble going down. Yes, thanks. Me too. Um, this thing isn't the fastest, right? Eh, it works. Um, reliable? Not broken down in the 15 years I've been here. I'm better than me, then. Aw, that was a good joke. Here we are, ladies first. Beverly went to work, that means must mean Henry is alone. Hell yeah. Hey little beaver kid. I left a good day sorted clip in Discord timestamp. Hell yeah. Thank you, Sassy. We've had Colts, Rats, Holes, and Matchmaking. I think this is the coverall on the Miro game bingo card. It really is. Now all we need is like, well, no, we've had murder. We've had murder, Colts, Rats, Holes. Raccoons, digging through trash. What else is a staple? I mean, detectives, yeah, so raccoon detective, like, that hits, that hits double right there. Does it check off any other boxes? We haven't drank any potions yet. That's what we need. We need a potion cellar, and we're good. Uh, hey, Henry, it's me again. I'm a detective looking for Leslie. Hi, you don't look like a detective, really. Um, what should a detective look like? Much cooler, scarier. Uh, at least I'm not scary. Speaking of, you okay without your mom? I know how to look after myself. I bet a big boy like you could answer some questions, too. Uh, mom says I shouldn't speak to strangers. Well, that definitely doesn't apply to detectives. We're on everyone's side. Okay, but don't tell mom. It's our little secret. She's scary when she's angry. Uh, Henry, you were going to say something earlier about Leslie? Mm, but mom says Leslie made her own bed. I make my bed, too. Proud of you, bud. You mentioned someone called Mai? Leslie's friend, Mai. Did you know Mai well? She brought me sweets. Um... Yeah, which ones? Little pink fuzzy ones. You mean bug snacks? Oh my god. Did they just put a bug snacks cameo in here? That's too cute. Bug snacks. Ah, that's a that's great. Um, snazzy clouds, sparkle drops. Um, snazzy clouds. No, I don't think I've tried those. Oh wait, do you mean sparkle drops? No way, those are gross. How's it taste? Sour, or really sweet. Sour, I guess. Are they stripy and long? No, that sounds boring. Oh, pucker grapes? Ew, no, those are the worst. <laughs> they bright yellow? Yeah, this world's never end. Aha, you must be talking about fizzle poopers. Yeah, fizzle poopers. Have you got any? Nope. 
Uh, but we solved the mystery. Well done, Henry. Yay. And we've taken a tangent. What was Mai's full name? My Loader. Wish I uh, lived with her instead. Do you know where Mai lives? Uh, with her weird stinky brother, Samson. Uh, Samson sounds like a monkey name. Uh, nearby in these flats? No, nah, down the road, the house with the red door. Thanks, Henry. You've been super helpful. Uh, if you see Mai... Uh, you want me to tell her to visit? Yeah, don't tell her I asked, though. I'll see what I can do, little buddy. Uh, I better go check on Mr. Flufo now. Mr. Who now? Must be his dog. Mr. Flufo, my tour bear. Right. Take good care of each other, Henry. Okay, well, I mean, I have a location, at least. Down the block with the red door. How the hell do I get out of this place? Is this the door? Oh, that's the door. Is this the door? That looks like a red door. I guess that's just the doctor's place. Red door. Oh, right here? My louder, huh? And that's Samson the stinky brother. Great! Who are you? What do you want? Are you Samson? Depends. Who's asking? Uh, Wallace Broder, I'm an investigative journalist. Press are all parasitic scum, I'm not talking to anyone. Okay. Oh, he's stinky because he's a skunk! Smart. Smart for catching that, I was not paying attention. Uh, I'm here to speak to Mai. Mai's not home. When is she going to get back? Who do you think I am, huh? Um, her brother? Do you know Leslie Pham? Careful, anyone could be listening. Come in, come in. You got some explaining to do. Um, okay, sure. I mean, if he's willing to talk, he might just be going to rob me. Speak, don't bullshit me. Uh, where's my, I'd like to talk to her. Why? What do you want her for? Speak. I'm investigating Leslie Pham. Um, Leslie is missing. She, they were friends. You have a theory? You must have a theory. And it better be good. I don't like, I don't work with amateurs. Um, what do you mean work with? She's gone. Are you going to help look for her, or are you wasting my fucking time? Okay. Uh. I need your sympathy. I need to know what your damn theories are. I think the missing girls are being killed. Fuck no. Mai would never get caught. Oh, so Mai is missing now, too? I see. Um, you've been looking for her yourself? I've been looking, of course. I went to the bite. Did my work at the bite? You don't know shit, do you? Uh, what'd you find there? Uh, just that Clarissa Bud Bloodworth is a stone-cold bitch. Well, we knew that already. Um, couldn't have said it better myself. Right on. But Maya respected her. Why? Isn't it obvious? She's protected. Um, you mean by the apes? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, can you tell me more about mine? Fine, but quickly. If you're here too long, it might tip someone off. Did anything happen between you and mine before she went, went missing? What are you implying, punk? Maybe she was acting weird? Nah, things were good. Hmm, I suppose her friend had just gone missing. Leslie? No, not that bitch. I think her name was Rose. Um, I knew her well. Uh, those girls... The girls are tight-knit around here. Pretty much all worked in the factory together at some point before joining the snake the snake den. Rose also worked at the bite? Yeah, thinking about it, I think she was one of them to start at the bite. Maybe the other girls know something? I've tried. I've tried that lead. No dice. Did Mai have any close friends? Uh, I met a few, mostly factory girls, until they became bite girls. Leslie Pham was her friend. There's no way she really, she was really friends with that slut. Wow. All right. Um. Cool it. Uh, why don't you like her? This is a bad influence on my. How would you know, Leslie? Nobody knew her like I did. She's poison. Jesus. Uh, anyway, my was friends with the fams. Yeah. My babysat Henry once or twice. No other friends? No. What was my like as a person? She was pure, kind, brave. She's a survivor, and I probably owe her my life. Um, how old was she? 
She's 19. Don't talk about her in the past tense, you fucking prick. Uh, you love her, huh? More than anything. Was she ever into drugs? No. She didn't need to, that shit to be happy. She was strong. I'm sure she still is. The strongest. How long was Maya at the bite? A couple of months. It felt like forever. Mm -hmm. What was her job there? She started off as a waitress. She got promoted within a couple of months. To what? Uh, she wouldn't tell me. Just said she worked upstairs. Oh. Like a call girl? Uh, did she change after the promotion? She seemed prouder. Yeah, she was doing good, I guess. I have to take a look around? Around the house? Sure, but don't touch anything or I'll fucking kill you. I won't. Jesus. Skunk means business. Let's look at some photos. Must be my louder. Uh, Blade of Heroes, maybe? Dude has a pet lizard. Cute lizard seems chill. He looks demonic. I didn't touch anything. I didn't touch anything. This guy's unstable. He just fucking pulled a samurai sword on me. I would like to leave now, please. I would like to exit through the front door with all my bits intact. Oh boy. All right. I just realized why you're really here. They sent you, didn't they? They? Who they? Say your name, fucker. Pronounce it. That's not a samurai sword, actually. <laughs> okay, listen. He pulled a sword on me then. Wallace Broder. Hmm, I see you're consistent, but that doesn't prove anything. I just want to find my... Uh, who told you about the missing girls? It's an open secret? Too many people know about this. Getting out of control, they'll come for me. We're safe, nobody knows I'm here. You're not seeing the bigger picture. You're just a clueless cog in a machine of shadows. This guy's lost it. You're right, they're out there, but we're in this together. Other people are just a liability. They just get hurt. We both want the same things. I suppose you could be an asset to my work. Right, working together for the same cause. Oh, you're the boss man. He might like he might like sounding like the boss. Hmm. Let's go with you're the boss man. I'm glad you know your place. They wouldn't know what hit him. Makes sense, makes sense. The timing has to be right. But we can't wait much longer. I'm not a wimp like you. What's the plan? Let's split up. Watch our backs. Bide our time. I'll give you a lead to chase. What's the lead, partner? Uh, the first one that met, went missing. Rose? Rose Clemenko. She must have started it all. Go talk to her mom. Who's her mom? You're dumb. G good that you have me. Her name is Florence. She's crazy as fuck. How do I find her? Fuck do I know? Ask around. Uh, aye, aye, partner. Let's do this. It's been real. Now get the fuck out of here. I'm gone. Jesus. Jesus. I'm happy to have gotten out of that. Is this Mo? This is Poe! Oh my god. Yet another newsstand man. Incredible. We got Mo, Bo, and Poe. Um. If you want it, it's for sale, okay? If you need to ask, ask. Excuse me? Trench coat, yes. Made you ears. Stripey. You bully my little Sid. I did what? Oh, this is the guy that has the, like, rogue paper men. Um, he's a troublemaker, that one. I will be trouble for you quickly if you don't leave. Can't believe he snitched. You're the schemer. You snitched to me, so I will snip you. Then the snip snitch will itch, yes? Oh Jesus, no, bye. I don't know what he said, but it sounded bad. Yummy, yummy, what did that say? Yummy, yummy, what? Oh, I think it said good for the tummy. Um, Gabriella. I'm looking for Florence Clemenko. Good for you. Do you know her? Maybe. Do you know where I can find her? Why would I tell you? I'm investigating the missing girls. Maybe they don't want to be found. 
My sister is missing. Liar. No way you're from around here. Um, I'm not, but my sister knew Rose. Good riddance. She was a pretty little leech. Boy. Um, were you friends with Rose? Nah, damn leech didn't have friends, just suckers. So you knew her then. Sucked the life out of the hood. Tried to sucker me and Jade too. We weren't falling for her shit. What's the shit? I don't know, ask the dead girls. How do you know they're dead? Hmm? Um. I don't want anyone else to go missing. I can help. You can't do shit. But if you upset Florence, I'll fucking skin you alive. That woman deserves some peace. You hear me? I get it. I kill for my loved ones, too. She's at the factory, like always. Don't tell her I told you. Thanks for trusting me. You make me wish I hadn't, but I'll make you wish you hadn't. You make me wish I hadn't, but I will make you wish you hadn't. You hear me? You get me? Where's the factory? This hurts my brain. Down the alley. You can see it from here. Thanks. All right. Down the alley. This alleyway? What alleyway? Whoa, can we talk about this graffiti up here? Look at this. Look at that monkey holding like the fucking Illuminati symbol apes guide us holy apes really are ruling the world okay alleyway this alleyway oh yep there we go factory he holds the thing i'm digging this music Guard is sleeping on the job. This should be easy. You just gotta find Florence. Yes. How do I... I can't get past this thing, though. I can't move! There's nothing actionable here. We might have bugged it. Shit, hold on. Hold on. Let me check the guy to make sure I'm not missing anything. <coughs> Super obvious. <coughs> oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, we haven't had to use this mechanic for a while. There we go. All good. It's sneaking time. <coughs> There's a worker, gotta be careful. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide behind this very see-through fucking chain link fence. Good, good, good. No one will ever suspect. Stupid. Okay, so I gotta do something over here, maybe? Oh, that's just to go back. <clears throat> oh, is this Florence? Oh, this is Florence. I don't need to be suspicious anymore. Huh? You don't work here? Who are you? Um... I know this sounds strange. I'm a private investigator. That's so. Leave me alone. I, sp I spoke to Beverly Pham. Samson, too. Rosie's gone. I don't know what to tell you. How long has Rose been missing? 20 days. Uh, look. You gotta go. The supervisor will be here any minute. Where do you live? Can I come over to talk later? Gray's tenements across the road. Block 5. You want to see Rosie's room? Yeah, that could help a lot. Damn, fine. We can uh, sneak out now before the super is here. Let's go. Fire exit quickly. What? Now? Okay. Wow, she was really just like ready to fucking go. She said, let's go. And we took off. Um, okay. Uh, I better start looking around. Let me know if I can help somehow. Uh, can you tell me about Rose? My baby girl was sweet, strong, always took care of her mama. She wanted the best for me. Do you know if she had any secret hiding places in the apartment? I don't know. She was always typing away at that terminal of hers. I never asked. 
the only thing I know she didn't want me seeing. Maybe I'll start there. Thanks. Okay, just put stuff back where you found it. I want to keep my baby girl's room tidy. Will do. Much cozier than the rest of the house. Room never... As if Rose never went missing. Uh, came home too soon. Poor Florence. Th uh, this house, I don't know if I've described it as cozy. Um, the wallpaper needs some help. Uh, let's look at this crow. He says chirp. Okay. Posters? Monkey boys, Groovy. All right, guess it's time for the terminal. Mm, enter your password. Rose. Incorrect. I forgot my password. Favorite flower. Oh, I need to look around. These are good tunes. I'm wondering if it's almost a clue. I'd be down to go if I was working there. Yeah, if you worked at that factory, you'd be like, let's let's leave. Yeah, I guess maybe I should ask mom. That's a good point. Sad empty vase. Oh wait, I see. October, that's a rose. Feels uh, familiar. If I turn lights on, I could meet a friendly family of cockroaches. Oh God, gross. Uh, Rose the terminal, you know the password? Nope, I never wanted to snoop. I don't know how those things work anyway. And what if I saw something? Something like what? Like something made me realize I don't know her at all. Um, you're scared, but there could be vital leads in there. If she was gonna leave a note, she'd have wrote one, left it on the fridge or something. So you don't know the answers to the security questions? Um, do you know what? Do you know what her favorite flower was? Nah. She had a new favorite every week. Could never keep up with that girl's fancies. Hmm, okay. Alright, well that didn't help. I'm gonna go with Rose. Damn it. Carnation? Lily. They're all wrong! I was gonna guess Rose because of the, the poster, but... White petals, small yellow center, an artist was a child, I hope. Small herb-shaped plant spilling down, looking pretty sad, relatable. Why does the bathroom not have electricity? Neglected, has been looked after for decades, reminds me of my childhood. Am I supposed to- I guess I'm supposed to find the answer? Alright, we're cheating again. White petals has a yellow center is a lily? Isn't it- isn't that a daisy? Um... I'm trying to find where they hacked. Okay, see, that's what I thought. We gotta get this crow to talk. Hey, Insidious Koala, welcome! Oh my god, that's so cute! You like the rat emoji? How's it going? Um. We, like, literally can't even talk to mom anymore. I don't know how to get the crow to talk. A to you wonder how it sounds. I wonder oh, how interesting. It okay. I got it. Yeah, 
I'm glad you're doing well. Book on flowers. Um, look up a white flower. Uh, daisy. Bellinus perennius is a common species of daisy. The family Astrachae. Oh boy, often considered an archetypal of the species. Read on. Uh, exhibits phenomenon of heliotropism, where flowers follow the position of the sun. Oh, I didn't know daisies did that. Um, the name daisy is considered a corruption of day eye because the whole head closes at night and opens in the morning. Daisy is also commonly known as Mary's rose. <laughs> Oops. Um. I just need the one, so how do I get out of this? Oh, Jesus. Put down the book. There we go. I just need the daisy. We know it's a daisy. Daisy. Uh, favorite band? Doggy Doo? The Meow Meows. Okay. We're gonna think about it then. Um. Wait, could it be this poster? Cuddle Boys. Cuddle Boys? Monkey Boys? Ah, it, it was the Gatterai, apparently. Um, pet's name. What's your name, buddy? Chirp, what is your name? Rose, Rose, Ark? Um, no, me, Howard, what's your name? Howard a bird. No. Howard isn't a bird. Clever boy, what's your name? Boing? Please, bird password bird name. Sad little birdo? Sad whistle? Ignis. Uh, Ignis, go for the eyes. Pleasure working with you, Ignis. Ignis, go for the eyes. Jesus. What a good boy. Welcome back, Rose. Jesus, there we go. We're in. We hacked it. We hacked it. Hey, Sassy using the raccoon emote. Perfect. All according to plan. Okay. Um, there's nothing in school. There's nothing in work. And secret has before, during, and after. Um, before. Sometimes there is blood inside the outside of my body. I could wash it away, but today no water runs in the bathtub. It doesn't fill me. It doesn't touch my shoulders, my feet, knees, or my thighs. I sit silently, waiting, breathing, letting the air in. She's made of liquor, tears, empty envelopes, nothing in between. I am others. This text is very small. I've got to get close. Um, today is Thursday. I'm sick of being bold and the way my voice breaks when I say a thing without meaning it. I used to sing in my head, but the theater is now full and the audience comes and goes. For instance, I never see the same face twice. Forgetting makes it easier, therefore I remember the music, but not the lyrics. Raccoon hacker voice. I'm in. Exactly. Uh, would you like to have some soup? Not really, I'd rather try the main course. The doctor says it's good for your imagination. Like the time, like that time when through slicing and grinding and chewing and speaking, the flesh speaks to saying, I am, I am, I am, I am. Okay. Leslie, I love you. Uh oh, I've taken I'm taken by this newfound multifaceted moving force commanding me in all directions. There was a gaping void inside my body and expanded space within left empty, waiting to let bigger let in bigger things. This text is so hard to read. Nothing escaped and nothing gravitated gravitated around the hole. I just sat there without desire, pronouncing the meaningless noise of existence. And then out of nowhere, love returned. It encompassed the whole of my being. What was once me now demands a new definition, new borders, uh, new coping mechanisms. I've come up with new words, invent new ways to communicate with the widening world in front of my eyes. They were once blind. Now I know. We spoke of our future and how it's impossible, but I found a way. Boss knows about us. She mentioned a scavenger that helps people like you and me. There's life beyond the wall, and I want to live it with you. Uh, let me know. I'm going to stay with you, whatever you decide. Um, 
For some reason, this reminds me a lot of that one episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog with Kitty and Bunny, and they have to run away from, like, the dogs, I think is what it is. That's what this reminds me of. So Leslie and this chick, whose name I've already forgotten. Um, oh boy, we got a list of clients. Leslie and Rose. Uh, Leslie and Rose were like gonna run away together. All right, we've got a bunch of clients. Oops. Project Artifact, what the fuck could that be? Clearly there's something exciting going down in Science City. I need to tell Renee. Okay, Buster Carpenter, uh, interior security thug. Official title is VIP public appearance liaison. Complete asshole, good whiskey, monkey butt. Always trying to touch the girls. Brags about who he's been bodyguard to. Mainly mid-level politicians who have done things they shouldn't have been. A uh, good source of tip-offs. Keep happy. Frederick Muller is an accountant, creepy accountant. Talks very little, doesn't bother to look girls directly. Doesn't bother the girls directly, but stares. God, this text is awful. I don't want to. I don't want to read most of this. Hold on. Who is important here? Traffic minister, science minister. Here we go. Doug Rogers, science minister. Careful, respectful of girls. Drinks only in moderation. Secretive. Enters through the back alley. Only ever requests Leslie. Boss is a direct liaison. No one else will be allowed to speak to him. Seems to know boss well. Leslie doesn't like talking to him. Leslie spilled. Uh, he mentioned the project artifact once and then shut down. Investigate. Uh, this guy, Eddie, biochemistry lab at Science City. Family man. Likes to get drunk and cry on girls' shoulders. Seems terrified of the science minister. Boss told us to keep him sweet. Seen boss speaking directly to him when she thought he was alone when she Seen boss speaking directly to him when she thought was alone uh, He looked depressed mentioned project artifact to baby Gina. That's twice now. Hmm. Okay Suspicious How do we get back? There we go dream team Rose. It's me angry lady with a pig butt Baby Gina, um, we haven't heard this girl going missing, have we? Uh, it'd be great if they made these letters bigger on, or the ability to make the screen larger. Well, yeah, I could make my window larger. Uh, patient with the men, maybe too patient. High drug sales, not sure how that happens. Sensitive. Try not to give her rowdy men, not a factory girl, moved to the West End recently. Hiring notes, sweet girl, but not the brightest looking young petite, fills the gap on our list. Leslie, factory girl, close to my louder, lives with her mother and little brother, roots in this area. Hiring notes, smart girl, should fit in quickly if hired with my as a friend. Beautiful, when she enters a room, it feels like a summer day. Rumors, she swings the other way. Well, she does, because we were dating her. Factory girl, Leslie's best friend, very reserved. Hiring notes, may need coaching on how to handle clients. She's a stunner, all right. Her brother is possessive. Tell the bouncer to watch out for him. Brother is like more than possessive. He's crazy. Rose had a system. It wasn't Clarissa. I feel sick again. Um, team, hire attractive, loyal girls that know how to make men talk. Start with factory, click, wider West End area. Offer good pay, no sex work, just listening, flirting, and reporting to me. Intel. Boss has access to monkey butt supply. Helps loosen tongues. Mix 50-50 um, with hype to make addictive. 75-25 when hooked to make them spill. Never let girls try this. Um, oops. No way, Rose did... Rose... Did Rose and some other girls go over... The wall. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, sources. Uh, creative, super elective VIP brand to attract bi the big boys. Reward with guaranteed access to their favorite girls. Make sure girls make notes on dirt immediately after session for my eyes only. Deadbeats. Boss will send up candidates, get one or two special girls to get them hooked and find out if they've ever been missed, ever be missed. Oh boy. So the otter husband, Jeremy, was a deadbeat then. Um, HB, write guidelines for girls. When we're sure, invite them to room two. 
with the painting and call Suze. Um, contact name Dio. Meet under the bridge on the 5th at 12. Uh, she'll take us beyond the wall. Password Daisy Bloom. Oh, that could be important. Okay, I think that's it then. Oh god, it got dark. How the fuck long have I been in here? Sorry, Rose, just been chilling in your fucking house. Um... Did you learn anything? Anything at all? Rose learned something she wasn't supposed to. Like what? Uh, it's complicated. <coughs> What'd you find out about my baby girl? Okay, fine. Um, your daughter was ambitious, sensitive woman, keeping tabs on bad people. Stupid girl, I told her. Smarts are trouble. You think she'll s still be alive? Um, I believe so. I have to. I just want my girl back, however long it takes. I hope they're still alive. I hope they're just captive somewhere. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm not going to uh, ask all about your personal business, but if you mean it, thank you. I ain't got no one to look out for me. I'll do my best. I can do this. I kept hope alive. I don't know if that was a good move or not, but I kept hope alive. All right. Uh, welcome home, you all right? Uh, yeah, let's talk case. Start with a general primer. What's the connection between the girls? They all worked at the bite together. Uh, great find. How do you know? Why is it important? Um, Rose Clemenko reunited, recruited them all. Know something about Red that, sh uh, Rose that shed light, sheds light on this. Wow, I can't talk anymore. It's gone. All speech capabilities out the window. Um, she's been gathering sensitive intel on our guests for Clarissa. What kind of information was Rose able to collect? Plenty. The bite had two types of clients, the haves and the haves nots. Uh, rich ones that were mined for blackmail material. Um, lower class no names that Clarissa knew no one would miss if they were killed for flesh. Like, you're erstwhile friend Jeremy Green right and then the higher ups that they blackmailed it's an ingenious setup to be fair and don't leave me in suspense did you find the other intel yep uh, especially a senior scientist named Eddie Hung it's getting fucking late mm -hmm. that's the emote that's it um both his and his minister files mentioned Project Artifact. I think that's our next lead. What do you think it is? Uh, no idea. Eddie is a biochemist. That's all I know. Uh, wait, is that the same guy from Science City that reported uh, Science City report in the minister's files? Must be. Um, yeah, must be. Um, we have to look into what this Project Artifact entails. Clearly, Clarissa was interested. Deal. Did you learn what happened to those girls? Um, I think they escaped beyond the wall. The fuck? How? Why? Someone called Dio smuggled them out. And I'd like to ask this Dio some questions. Same, but I got no leads on them at all. It's a lot to process. We need a new plan. Um, fast, we're catching up. The truth can't slow down now. There's still so much we don't know. You did great, though, especially not getting killed. I feel bad for Florence. Having to live like that, not knowing. Uh, we'll get her the answer she deserves. Anyway, let's take the next step. Finding Eddie Hung and learning about Project Artifact. It's all been leading to this. I'm ready. Do you want to go over the facts? Get everything straight? Um, yeah, can never be too prepared. Don't we already have plenty of evidence? What we have is knowledge that's very different from convincing proof. Okay, I guess that's true. We got nothing. If we give up now, it'll all be for nothing. We still have a lead. Fine. Um, what do we know about Clarissa? She's in cahoots with the science minister, loves spying on everyone, knows about Project Artifact. Do you think she knows about us? Even if we're careful, she'll suspect something is going on soon. Missing girls. Um, they got 
out behind the wall. I don't know what that means behind the wall. Are we not allowed to leave the city? Are we like trapped? Um, They're being used as spies and drug pushers. How did Clarissa let them go so easily? Anyway, it's not a priority right now. Science City. Someone important to science to the science ape and Clarissa is going down there. We need to see for ourselves. Biochemistry research. Documents mention proteins. That's high level stuff. We need specifics. All right. What's the plan? Uh, pay Eddie a visit in Science City and find the answers and we'll get the word out. The rest is up to the general public. How do I get into Science City? Just employ your usual charm. Oh, yeah, because that's gone so great in the past. If it doesn't work, honestly, do whatever it takes. It'll be our biggest chance to corner Clarissa. Make it sound so simple. Fundamentally, it is. You're a good detective. We'll figure it out. Let's fucking go. That's the spirit. Uh, before I do anything, I need to eat and sleep. You'll sleep when you're dead. I'll grab something at the bodega. Put your feet up until I'm back. You've earned this for once. Sure, be safe. Gotta watch her never come back. Uh oh. Yep, it's coming up. I've finished the chapter. Busy now, I'll call you back tomorrow. Bye. Jesus, she talked really fast there. Put your feet up, I'll be back soon. I feel like there should be voice acting, but there's not. Like that sentence took so long to to blink out, you know? Alright, let's try to investigate more. Oh, should we do a tea? Each mug is a memory? Imagine making tea without one. I guess we're not going to. Nice day, maybe everything will be fine. I guess we're not gonna make tea. We'll just read the newspaper. Is this Attack on Titan season one, but with, the, but with animals? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. That's not Rose, shit. Out the window. Out the window. Oh. Uh-oh. Good thing she's not here. Clarissa! Aren't you going to offer me some tea? Ah, uh, what kind of tea? Surprise me. Coming right up. Guess we are making tea after all. Um, simple red cup. She seems calm, better keep her that way. Um... How nice it would feel to hit her in the face. <laughs> Gotta keep my shit together. Worst thing that can happen, I'll die today. It's fine. I hope Renee's okay. What kind of tea, though? What kind of tea are we gonna make this girl? I'm guessing the wall is like a game preserve? Oh, maybe. That'd be the craziest plot twist to learn that the, there's like actual humans that are keeping all these anthropomorphic animals in a cage. Maybe this is actually just the zoo. <laughs> and these are like crazy imaginings. I guess we don't get to choose the type of tea. That's also not a red mug, but sure. Oh, an interesting mug. I wonder where you got it. Oh, did I not choose the red mug? The ape of the year competition, obviously, which I won. Now, Howard Loter, this is going to be a very linear conversation. I ask the questions and you answer them. And remember, I know when you're lying. Is that clear? Yes. Question number one, do you know why I'm here? I don't know. I'll be disappointed if I have to do all the talking. She just said she was gonna ask the questions. Let's talk, we're both professionals here. You're a newbie private dick with a photography degree. Who hired you? Um, nobody? Of course. What is her name? Not making any sense. If you're not cooperating, then you're not useful to me. Now be careful with what you say next. If she knows when I'm lying. I wonder I wonder how far I can push this. I wonder if I actually can die out of curiosity. I won't say anything. Howard, Howard, we'll move on for now, but only because I will find out either way. I'm sure. Now let's talk about what you think you're sure about, what you found out. Uh, you tell me. How 
how tiresome. You snooped around my bar and coerced my shopkeeper and then spread rumors about me all over West End. Rumors? Uh, nailed it. Good boy, what else did you find? Give me a full picture of your sophisticated investigation. Um, where's Rose? All you need to know is that she's safe. You've been to the minister's apartment. What did you find? I'm very confused right now. Whose side is this lady on? <laughs> He's protecting you, covering you up. As expected, do you understand why? He's scared of you. Obviously, but I doubt that's all there is to it. Here's another offer. You would for me and find out the truth. Truth about what? If I refuse? Then I would ask you to stop what you're doing right now. My plans do not account for a meddlesome raccoon boy unless he works for me, of course. What do I get in return? Uh, you get to do what you're best at for a good cause and I'll keep you safe. Give it time. Give it time and think. Well, either way, my answer is no. I don't need you to keep me safe. I still hope you'll see sense. Give it time and think. Anything else I can help you with? My final question. So much misguided effort spent pursuing only the shadow of the big picture. Why? Feel like I need to do something. Think about my offer. The next time I ask you will be the last. See you around, Mr. Loter. Send your mom my regards. Ooh, that sounds like a jaded threat. Goodbye, Clarissa. Ah, I see you found your manners. Good. Seuss, say goodbye to Mr. Loader. Wait, like, as in murder me? Oh. No, just a, just a beating. Just a normal beating. It's a Tuesday, it's fine. She is a big woman. Not as big as Lady Dom, though. Fuck, fuck, R Renee is not coming back. I gotta continue, I can't stop now. What, do they think, does he think Renee's dead? What do you mean she's not coming back? Oh, I guess, yeah, call Anatoly, that's a good one. Uh, Anatoly and his quick wheelies here. Hey, it's Howard. Oh no, sad voice, what happened, partner? You want me to go get you some cocoa? I need your help. Anything for you, friend? Tell me. Spill the beans. Fill my cap with garbanzos. Let's go. I'm here. Can you pick me up tomorrow? Yeah, what's the plan? Where are we headed? Science City. Wow, same place at nine then? Yeah, one more thing. Yeah, buddy? Uh, get you some headache pills? Can you get me something for personal safety? I hear you. I see what I can do. You want to tell me what's up? Uh, sorry, friend. I can't. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Sure thing, buddy Oh, I understand. Now go and rest them bones, okay? Thank you. Bye. Oh, man. So the, our foxy girlfriend's dead already? Balls. I'm very confused, though, because she said that all I needed to know about Rose was that she was alive. Or that she was safe. Did you bring it? Yeah, check the glove box. You know how to use it? I'm getting a gun. Shit's getting real. I do. Goody. Sometimes folks forget things in this cab. Things with serial numbers, things with serial numbers filed down. Crazy. Drop me off at the Science City entrance, then wait, Granville. Granville, the parade's on today, remember? Main Street's too crowded with cabs, but I'll see if I can find an empty alley. Oh, and Howie? Stay safe. Science City. All right. This is where we will pick this up on Monday. Um... We'll see what the fuck Science City is about and uh, try not to get murdered. I actually am very curious to keep pushing the envelope and see if, like, I can get my ass murdered. Very, very curious. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here with me for more Backbone. I hope that we have more raccoon detective time on Monday and I hope to see you there. Uh, let's do our thank yous and our goodbyes. I don't believe there's anybody to raid today. Um, dum -dum -dum. You guys probably can't hear that very well. Hold up. There we go. Uh, 
Ah, Amora's on? Okay. We'll do this then. If you guys would like to go check out, uh, I think Legos, probably? Maybe? It's Makers and Crafting, so I'm guessing Legos. Uh, yes, the Monkey King Warrior mech. If you would like to go check out some Legos, please go check out my friend Mora Amor. Go see what he's up to. Um, and then I will see you guys on Monday, uh, 7 p.m. MST, uh, for more Backbone. Roll the credits and say thank you to Blinded for the resub. Happy 42 months. Thank you, thank you for the continued support. And Commodore Tom, thank you for the resub as well. Happy 10 months. Thank you for the 10 months of support. I super appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I will see you all on Monday. Uh, that's it for me, guys. Bye!